Hi everybody, my name's Kaylee and I work at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum and today I'm joined by my friend Bubs who's a great horned owl and he has a question for us. Go ahead Bubs. Woohoo, I don't know about this Kaylee. It's okay, I don't want to say my question. What do you mean Bubs? Is everything alright? Woohoo. Did you eat something that upset your tummy? What? You were excited before we started filming. Are you maybe a little camera shy? That's okay. You can whisper it to me. It's... What if people make fun of me for not knowing the answer to the question? Oh, Bubs, you should never feel ashamed for not knowing the answer to your question. That's why kids and adults go to school, to learn the answer to the questions they don't know. And if nobody knows the answers, then we get to work together to find the answer. Working together does sound fun. It sure does. Would you like to say your question now, if that's okay? Okay, well, my big brother said that there are owls that live in the ground, and even some that are all white, like snow, instead of brown. I called him a liar because I've only ever seen owls that look like me and my family. Is he making the, these other owls up? That's a great question, Bubs. Why don't we take a look at the life science galleries in the Royal Saskatchewan Museum to try and find the answer, okay? Whoa, look at all those plants! This exhibit looks at a scene from a place near Patterson Lake. You could eat lots of earthworms here, Bubs. Ew, more worms! Bubs, there's someone here that looks kind of like you. Why don't you take a look? Oh, you too. Can you help Bubs find the owl in the exhibit? Who? Who? Who is that on the tree? Look, look. Perched up there is the great gray owl. In the summer, they hunt while there's still sunlight out. We'd have to wake up pretty early and look really hard to catch a glimpse of these quiet and elusive owls. Their feathers look so much like the, a tree. I thought they were the tree. Yes, they blend in with the trees or are camouflaged. Those special feathers also allow the owl to fly and glide without a sound as they hunt prey. Oh, what do they eat? The great gray owl eats small mammals like the gapper's red-backed vole. In the winter, they can eat up to seven voles a day. That's a lot, but that makes sense. They're so big, they must need to eat a lot. Actually, Bubs, despite being bigger than a great horned owl, they weigh less than you do. They're mostly those soft, fluffy feathers. Great horned owls also have bigger talons than the great gray owl. These subtle differences are called adaptations. That's really cool. Not only that, Bubs, but the great gray owl has amazing hearing. The shape of their head, wide and flat in the front, kind of like yours, works like a radar dish. This helps them channel the sound to their front-facing ear openings. Their left ear opening is higher than their right to help them figure out where a sound is coming from. Hey, um, is he mad? I can't tell. Where is his ear tufts? Bubs, great gray owls don't have ear tufts like great horned owls do. In fact, there are lots of owls that don't have ear tufts. Maybe next time we can look at another owl who doesn't have ear tufts. What? Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye! Hoo-hoo!